XRP, XLM, XDC and Quant might just become the first regulated digital assets in the UK. And I've had multiple people check in with me over the last few months about this bill that is going through the stages in the UK Parliament. But Romy underscore Vin brought it to my attention just recently, tagging me in a post by Ben Wade. And this is the post. Financial services and markets. Final reading is today. Then King Charles is going to sign it into effect. XRP, XLM, XDC and Quant will be the first regulated cryptos in the UK. Section 21, page 6. And I'll cut straight to the chase. When you go into the document, you'll actually realise that XRP, XLM, XDC and Quant aren't mentioned specifically, but they are kind of mentioned. And when I say kind of mentioned, what I mean is this whole bill is for digital settlement assets. The key word being settlement here. And the reason this is going through the system right now to be kind of updated, and we'll get on to where like the status and the progress report of that in a little bit. But the last time there was a financial services and markets bill that went through was the year 2000. And so within that bill, there was no talk of kind of net zero. The FCA, which is the Financial Conduct Authority, and the Prudential Regulation Authority here in the UK, they operated differently then than they do now. And there's a few other really boring things that weren't happening then that will be happening after this bill gets passed. But with this bill being passed, we essentially get the concept of digital settlement assets. And these are defined in this document as digital representations of value. But not only that, these assets can be traded and function as a payment. And this has to be a means of payment to a person for goods or services or even to pay down debt. This bill also gives the Treasury the ability to make regulation on digital settlement assets. The bill also introduces loads of net zero things, which I think plays into our favor, being fans of XRP, XLM and XDC. And so I really wanted to dive in to see really truly how they defined digital settlement assets. And there wasn't really anything solid in there. The definition that I gave you earlier is the reasonable definition that they've typically given. But in this new world, I really wanted to dive into, because it didn't mention the specific assets, it only said settlement in that short phrase. It got me thinking, you know, based on their definitions, what is a settlement asset? So let's do the legwork myself. That's what I thought. And so when I looked at them, I thought, well, there's three different options, right? There's option one, where they say all cryptocurrencies fall under this because they can all be used to transact value. But then I thought, surely there have to be standards for all of this stuff. Like, surely they won't use Bitcoin as a settlement asset. Sure, it can settle payments, but not in the way that would be even remotely effective for large entities, institutions, and so on. And so based on my analysis, you take the likes of Bitcoin, and yes, it can be used as a settlement asset. But because it doesn't meet the requirements in terms of like the stability, and because it's expensive to send, it's also energy consuming, so it doesn't meet the net zero thing, Bitcoin gets thrown out of the, the mix quite quickly. Then I also thought CBDCs, right? This is what they mean for about CBDCs. And I think absolutely, this is probably their priority in their thought process. We need to make these regulations about settlement assets. And it's basically all about CBDCs, which is why it's so vague. It doesn't say any single token. It's just going to say that because I think from the governmental perspective, this is just about CBDCs. The great thing is they don't know that we know that if there are CBDCs, they have to be actually settling funds on a blockchain, right? They have to be using a ledger for that. So we know that the likelihood is that they're going to be using a combination of like Quant, XDC, XLM, and XDC for smart contracts, right? We know they're going to be using this stack of assets and which ones, let's go even further, which ones are settlement assets? And you end up just with XRP and XLM, right? Yes, I know XDC can settle some, but not to the same degree or the same function as XRP. And so XRP, in my mind, is the root of all of that, right? It is the settlement asset. And so, sure, they're probably talking about CBDCs, but because we've got a more technical knowledge of these things, we know that means ultimately the price of XRP could be affected. And so when I look at this and I go to see where we are on what's called the bill passage, the bill passage being there is a first reading in the House of Commons, then it moves over to the House of Lords, where you have a first reading, second reading, 
committee stage, report stage, and the final stage of the House of Lords is a third reading. And this is the last step before it gets taken to the king to sign off on. Typically, if we make it past this third reading in the House of Lords, the, the king will just sign it. The queen would just sign it at that stage and the king would because it's gone through the government. They entrust the government to look after the country. And so when it comes onto their table, it's really just a signature. We also know that the king is kind of slightly more open to cryptocurrency. So even if there was a crypto element to it, he wouldn't be opposed to that necessarily. Um, so it's not, a, it's not a point of resistance for us in the UK. And so today, and what's the date today? The 19th of June. I don't know when this video comes out, but the 19th of June today is the third reading of the House of Lords, the final step. If it gets past the final step, which it certainly seems like it is, it goes into the final stages on what's called the Royal Ascent, where the King signs off on it. And essentially what you've got is a new definition for settlement assets, digital settlement assets, which will allow for regulation to flow in for CBDCs for those XRP, XLM, XDC, and quant assets. And this would be fantastic news. I like to think of this in, in a whole wide, you know, time range here. Everything seems to be coming to a conclusion. The court case in America with SEC versus Ripple. We have these bills coming in and these third readings all happening around the same time. I like to think that there is a grand scheme here, whether it's deliberate or not, or just by nature, it just kind of happens that all these things come to a conclusion at the same point, allowing for this general timeline to flow properly. So if we look at wholesale CBDCs coming into play, they're going to come into play very quickly, I think. As soon as we get this resolution, I think there's going to be a flow of regulation and movement on this side. There's going to be lots of stuff in the States where stuff starts going through Congress and the Senate. We're just doing that now because we don't have those delays but it'll all tie in in the end to where everything's happening all at once. I do also believe that during all of this, there's an IPO season where you get Ripple IPOing, PolySign IPOing, Circle IPOing, all of these big crypto companies just going public basically, because now this is the norm, right? Blockchain crypto companies are the biggest companies in the world. And it's just kind of a, what's the domino stop falling? You know, it's it's over. And so I think this is tremendously positive. If you can find Nadim Zahawi on Twitter, or you can find Baroness Penn also on Twitter, ask them what's going on. I think they are pretty responsive. So find those people on Twitter. If you want to come and check this out, it's on the bills.parliament.uk. And this is bill 3326. You can look at the timeline. You can also get updates. Look at the file yourself and dig into the research. Tremendously positive for XRP, XLM and XDC. Those lovely settlement assets that we've been so excited about for so long. If you're interested, watch one of these final two videos. One is a playlist of lots of videos you can watch just to play in the background there. The other one is a video that the algorithm thinks is perfect for you based on your interests. You can also click my face right there and click subscribe. I'll be updating you as time goes on. Stay emotionless and I'll see you in the next one.